Hey everyone. Well, I think I figured out why Maxime Bernier is not invited to the monk debates. I do. I think I figured it out. I, I, I'm confident. But first, let's just go back. I just want to see. You're friends with the Aga Khan, right, Justin? Here we go. This morning makes it very clear that I should have taken precautions and cleared my family vacation and dealings with the Aga Khan in advance. I'm sorry I didn't. And in the future, I will be clearing all my family vacations with the Commissioner's office. I've always considered the Aga Khan a close family friend, which is why I didn't clear this family trip in the first place. Right. Close family, family friend. Right? Okay. Here's important news from Robert Shirley, and he's a PPC. Uh, I don't know if he's a candidate, but he's associated with the PPC. He's got PPC in his Twitter name. Anyway, uh, he says, important. Rudyard Griffiths is the organizer of the Monk Debates. He is also a founding member and director of the Global Center for Pluralism, an international initiative of the Aga Khan Four. It's not that hard to understand Maxime Bernier's exclusion now. And I thought that was interesting. Here's the ruling in the ethics violation, the first ethics violation that Justin Trudeau received. He's received in total five ethics violations. And virtually no uh, reprimand, nothing. Not from the party, not from the government, not from anybody. Because, oh, you know. Here's the Center for Pluralism in the backgrounder. And I want to show you, here's, here's Mr. Rudyard Griffiths. And he's on the, on the board of directors. This is the, the, the board of directors for the pluralism. And this is started by the Aga Khan. This seems like a conflict of interest to me. But anyway, here we go. The Global Center for Pluralism on their, on their letterhead is putting out Global Center for Pluralism. Mission, the Global Center for Pluralism serves as a global platform for comparative analysis, education, and dialogue about the choices and actions that advance and sustain pluralism. I wanted to have the Google definition of pluralism, a condition or system in which two or more states, groups, principles, sources of authority, etc. coexist. Pluralism. Right? So an example could possibly be uh, UK common law, you know, in the United Kingdom, and Sharia law coexisting side by side could be an example of pluralism, unironically. Okay? Vision. The vision, the center's vision is a world where human differences are valued and diverse societies thrive. The Global Center for Pluralism is an independent charitable organization created to advance positive responses to the challenge of living peacefully and productively together in diverse societies. Why Canada? Founded in Ottawa by His Highness the Aga Khan in partnership with the Government of Canada, the Centre takes inspiration from Canada's experience. Respect for diversity has developed into a defining characteristic of Canada and a core element of the country's identity. Although still a work in progress, Canada is a global leader in the way it has valued and managed its diverse, multi-ethnic, multicultural fabric. The Centre's headquarters will be a platform for analyzing and sharing Canada's ongoing pluralism journey with the world. His Highness the Aga Khan. His Highness the Aga Khan's is the 49th hereditary imam, spirit leader of the Shia, Shia Imami Ismaili Muslims. For His Highness the Aga Khan, one manifestation of his hereditary responsibilities has been a deep engagement with development for almost 60 years. I'm just going to scroll down. Ties, oh, ties with Canada. His Highness has long been interested in Canada's experience of pluralism. His close ties with Canada go back almost four decades to the 1970s when many thousands of Asian refugees expelled from Uganda, including many Ismailis, were welcomed into Canadian society. I'm just going to scroll down here. His Highness the Aga Khan was conferred honorary citizenship by Prime Minister Stephen Harper in 2010. At that time, he was the fifth person in Canadian history to receive this honor. In 2014, His Highness became the first faith leader to address a joint session of the Canadian Parliament. And this document goes over what the, this, this, this company, not a company, this initiative, uh, the Global Centre for Pluralism does. And, but I think it's interesting. It was started by Justin Trudeau's close friend, the Aga Khan, and the the person organizing the monk, monk debates 
is on their board of directors. So that's, I mean, that's weird. And have you seen, have you seen what Adrian Clarkson does in her spare time? I just, I just want to point this out. This is Adrian Clarkson. Uh, aside from spending a lot of money, and she was in a spending scandal in 2018. I did a big report on it, which is why I took this. But this is the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. This is Adrian Clarkson, who's the former Governor General of, I believe, Governor General of Canada. And so. Here's the About Us page, and it says, Message from our co-founders and co-chairs. Quote, our vision at the ICC keeps in mind that eventually Canada's net population growth will be entirely attributable to immigration. That's the plan. That was my point back then, too. That's the plan. So is it any wonder, and here's, here's Mr... Um, Mr. Rudyard Griffith's background. So he is, uh, Rudyard Griffiths is a senior fellow at the School of Public Policy and Governance at the University of Toronto. Rudyard is the co-founder and chair of the Monk Debates, a charitable initiative of the Toronto-based Oral Aura Foundation. Sorry, I forgot that wrong. Uh, established by industrialist Peter Monk. For over a decade, he was the founder and executive director of the History and Civics Think Tank and Dominion Institute, which merged with the Historica Foundation in 2009 to create Historica Canada. Rudyard is the author of the 2009 Globe and Mail Book of the Year, Who, Who We Are, a Citizen Manifesto, and has edited two dozen publications on international relations, public policy, and politics. He has been a columnist at the National Post and the Toronto Star. Rudyard is a founding director of the Aga Khan's Global Center for Pluralism in Ottawa. So on one hand, Justin Trudeau's close friend, the Aga Khan, starts and runs with a board of directors, a think tank and a government-funded NGO, non-governmental organization, that looks specifically at immigration and pluralistic societies and how Canada is achieving it. And this person, Rudyard Griffith, who runs the Monk Debates, did not invite Maxime Bernier, who's the only person in Canada, only leader talking about reducing immigration le levels into Canada and, and re removing the multiculturalism law that was put in place by Brian Mulroney in 1987. Um, Repeal. Repeal was the word I was looking for. So a People's Party government would repeal the Multiculturalism Act, which goes, flies directly in the face of what Mr. Griffiths and the Pluralist Society is working for. And isn't that interesting? Mr. Griffiths is in control of the Monk debates, could invite Mr. Bernier, but didn't. Doesn't look like he's going to. And yet has this massive conflict of interest with Justin Trudeau's good friend, the Aga Khan. My goodness. What a tangled web. Interesting, right? Could that be why Mr. Bernier is not invited to the Monk debates? Could that be why he's been ignored for this instance? Maybe. Isn't it interesting, though? Isn't it interesting? Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day.